All Aboard, bringing you board games, tonight on All Aboard. In Seven Wonders Duel, we will construct buildings and wonders to develop our civilizations through advancements in science, military prowess and civil prosperity. With the Pantheon expansion, we will pay offerings to gain special benefits from the deities who join us from ancient Greek, Egyptian and Middle Eastern cultures. Hi guys, I'm Pat. And I'm Guy. Thank you very much for visiting All Aboard. First of all, we would like to ask you to turn on your Klingon subtitles so if you make any rule errors, we can place them there. And if you spot any error mistakes from your end, please drop a comment with the time codes and we'll add them to the subtitles. So this is the second installation of our month of expansions and we already have the first age set up here. And as you can see, the Pantheon fits snugly over the game board from the base game. Oh, that really looks like an expansion, huh? Yeah, the way it fits over the base game board is very cool. Okay, so for those of you familiar with the base game, you'll know that the cards for each age are set up into a structure like a pyramid, and each age has a different shape structure. And you can take any of the bottom row of face-up cards by paying the cost. Now, some of these have no cost. As you can see here, this one costs two coins, and this one here costs a papyrus. Now, you may be producing a papyrus from one of the cards that you get, one of the manufacturing cards. There's none out here at the moment, but for example, this one here produces wood or lumber. This one here produces stone. And there are some great cards that produce papyrus and they produce glass and so on. So you take the card and then you can put it into your civilization and then you gain the benefits from it. There are different types of cards. There are economic cards. So this one will give you four money or four gold. These here give you science symbols and if one of the players gets to six science symbols then they win the game with a scientific victory. There are these military symbols and each time you play one of these cards you move this pawn along the conflict track and if ever you get into your opponent's capital city at the end of the track then you get a military victory. The third way to win of course is a civilian victory which means the person with the most victory points if the game runs right through to the end. There are also these little symbols on some of the cards and these are called links. So sometimes the cost of a card will also include a link and instead of paying the resource cost or the money cost, you can use the link to build it for free if you have that link in your city. So what's new at Pantheon? Well, the game board now has this new Pantheon above it and we have these different decks of deity cards. So when we get these tokens, you can see on the pyramid there are some face down tokens. So these get revealed at the start. So let me help you. Yeah. And these correspond to the different, uh, the different civilizations. So these two here are from the Greek civilizations. This is from the Roman and so on. These are from one of the Middle Eastern cultures. And when you take a card or when you reveal a card, that has one of these tokens on it, you get that token and then you get to choose two of these deity cards from that particular culture. And you choose one of them, put the other back. So you take the top two, you take one, put the other back, and then you place it down on one of these sections on the top of the Pantheon. And you can see each of these sections has two costs. So this one is a three and an eight. Uh, four and a seven, five and a six, and that is reversed on the other side. So in the second age, then these deities will be revealed and you can play one of those deities by paying the cost that is closest to you. So for example, if there was a card here, it would cost me four, but it would cost Gly seven. However, a card here would cost Gly four, it would cost me seven. And finally, then there's this gateway card at the end. And so one, two, three, four, five, six spaces are available. Five of those spaces will be taken up by these five tokens that we put down and then the final one will be placed at the beginning of the second age and that's the gateway card and that just allows you to take the top one of each of the remaining deities here and you can choose one of them and play it for free and all of those cards give very very good benefits so they're worth having. Also, I would like to add that if the conflict pawn goes as far as this part, your opponent will lose two coins. And in this part, your opponent will lose five coins. That's right. And yeah. then that token gets discarded. discarded. So it only happens once. True. Yeah. 
and we also have these progress tokens and we purposely add those three progress tokens that are part of the Pantheon expansion and the other two are randomly chosen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you can get these progress tokens if you have two of the same scientific symbol in your civilization. That's right. Yeah? yeah. So that's additional bonus. So to give you a quick overview of the progress tokens we have on the board, we have mysticism, which means you get two victory points for each of these tokens you have in possession. And that also applies to the tokens you will get on the second age that will give you deductions to the deities. So if you didn't use them, that will stay on your possession. So you will get two victory points for each of them. That's right. Next is the philosophy, which will give you seven victory points. And yeah. next is urbanism, which will immediately give you six gold. And also if you build using the link that means that you can also get four golds. Okay. And uh, next is the engineering, which is also part of the Pantheon expansion, right. which means that so if the card has a link cost, whether you have the link or not, you can pay one to build it. That's one right. One gold. Yeah. 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 And of course, if you have the link, you'll still build it for free. But Correct. yeah. Yeah. You don't have to pay the one. No, no. <laughs> and the last is also part of the Pantheon expansion, which is polyorcetics. Okay. I hope I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> I, I'll just go with that. Yeah. <laughs> which means that if you move the conflict pawn towards your opponent, that means your opponent loses one gold. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. lose one gold for every space that it moves towards them as well. So Correct. that's actually quite a dangerous one. Yeah, so if like the, the card has three military, that means they lose three coins. That's right, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so the actions you can perform during the game for the first stage are the same as in the original base game. And that is you can build a card or build a building by paying its cost or by using the link. You can discard a card and build a wonder by paying the cost of a wonder. And we'll be dealing at wonders in a couple of minutes and you can also discard a card to get some money so you discard the card and you get two coins plus you get one extra coin for each of these yellow cards that you have in your city so these are for building up your economy okay. mm -hmm. in the second age we'll have a new action and that will be to play a deity and we'll explain that when we come to the second age okay and we start off with seven gold each yeah. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to choose our wonders. Now, we've randomly chosen the first player, and that's going to be me. Yeah. Okay, so we'll deal out the first four wonders. And, and also the wonders, we've uh, put the two new uh, wonders from the Pantheon that's right. expansion, yeah. and the rest are randomly chosen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, so we So we can see how they work. <laughs> the Sphinx, the Sanctuary, this is one of the new ones. Mm -hmm. And we've got the Pyramids and the Temple of Artemis. Ooh. Okay, so I will choose one of these, then Gly will choose two, and I get to choose the last one. So the Sanctuary is from the expansion, and that gives you a two coin reduction when you invoke a deity. So that's good, and it also lets you go again. Temple of Artemis here is going to give you 12 coins, which is nice. Nine points for the pyramids, and you get six points for the Sphinx, six victory points, and you also get to go okay. again. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to take the Temple of Artemis. And I am going to take the new one, the Sanctuary, and also the Sphinx. And then the Pyramids will come to me. Okay, and the final four are the Apian Way. The Divine Theatre, which is from the expansion, mm -hmm. the Great Library, and the Mausoleum. So the Divine Theatre, this means that you take three cards from one of the deity piles here, and you can keep one of them and play it for free straight away. And you'll also get two victory points at the end of the game. The Great Library, that is going to give you four victory points, and you can take three of the unused progress tokens, and you can keep one of them. Then... I mean the ones that aren't out here, of yeah. course, you know, the ones that we discarded at the start of the game. Uh, the mausoleum then will give you two victory points at the end of the game. And you can also choose one of the cards that is in the discard pile and you can build that for free. Mm -hmm. And finally, you have got the Apian Wave, which gives you three victory points. Let's you go again. It gives you three coins and your opponent loses, loses three, three coins. coins. Mm -hmm. mm. 
So I get to choose first. You get the first one. So I am going to choose the Apian way. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So you've got three of the cards to let you go again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they are tough to build. <laughs> right, yeah, not easy. Not easy to build. Okay, yeah, I will take the Divine Theatre and the Great Library. Okay, so then I will get the uh, okay. I don't have a choice, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I will go first. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I will take the pharmacist for two. Okay. That's one change. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take the workshop and I don't have a papyrus, so I am going to trade. So in trading, you pay uh, two golds. And if your opponent has a production, that's an additional gold. So Pat doesn't have a papyrus. That's so right, yeah. This will cost me two gold as well. Okay. So that's two. Here's my payment. One chains. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let me see. I will take the quarry here for free. So now my city produces one brick. And I also get this deity token. And this token is from the Phoenician mythology. So I take the Phoenician mythology cards and I take the top two of them and return the bottom one. And now I can choose one of these cards. If it's good, please make it more cheaper for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And that card can go over here. It's cheaper for you. Oh. It's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> okay, and in the second age, this card will be revealed. And if Gly wants to buy it, it will cost her four gold. And if I want to buy it, it will cost seven. And I'll just explain now that when you play these cards from the second age onward, you don't actually have to discard a card from the structure. So that adds an extra layer of depth to the strategy yeah. of the game, right? Okay, and this card gets revealed, and it's a military mm. one, the stable. You made it very obvious that this deity is not very beneficial to you. Mm. <laughs> well, they're all, they all have some advantage, you know, but uh, <laughs> maybe there could be better ones. All right. So I am going to get four coins immediately. Okay. All right. And that will reveal another Phoenician deity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can take the last two here and choose one of them. Okay, so I am going to put it here. All right. Mm -hmm. I will try to get in under this one for now. And back to me, I'll take the lumber yard. So mm -hmm. that's free as well. And I produce one wood now. Okay. So I am going to take the press for uh, one, so that's one goal. So you're producing papyrus. Mm -hmm. And let's see, I will take the guard tower and that's free and that will attack see. me. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I'm not sure if I want to attack you just yet. I'm going to discard this one for some money. Mm -hmm. So that gives me two coins because I've got no economy buildings just yet. And it will go and mm. let's open these two up. Whoa. Ooh. And now uh, I get a Roman mythology token this time. So I'll take two of these Roman fellas. Okay. And this guy can go back and he can go here. Oh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> More expensive for me. I'm yeah. going to get the stone reserve for three. Okay. That's so a nice way to get gold. stone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the stone reserve means that, for example, I want to build one of my wonders. With two stone, I can pay one gold each for each stone. Yeah, I don't have to trade. That's right. And mm -hmm. also for your building cards, right? Yes. So it just means that you can buy stone at one coin no matter how much I produce. Correct. All right. Now that's going to open that up is that up? 
Okay, but that's too good to let go. So I'm going to buy the wood reserve for three. And that also allows me to buy wood for one for each, each piece. Okay, so I am going to buy the scriptorium okay. for two. So that's my two gold. Okay, and I'll take the theater for free. Take the theater for free, huh? And that opens up this card. I am going to take the clay pool for free. All right, I will. I'm going to turn the palisade into gold, so that's going to give me three because I now have one economic economic building. Okay, so I'm going this one. Just I just have to get this one. <laughs> yeah. Lagging camp because I don't have a production of wood, so the lagging camp will cost me one gold. That's three and two chains. Yeah, and you get a Greek mythology token there. Greek mythology. So there you go. Two. So I take two of those. Okay, so I'm going to put that one here. Go back. And this mm -hmm. card gets revealed. A clay reserve. Okay, I think that I'm going to buy this one. So that's going to cost three. One, two, three. I am going to um, change this into money. So okay. I want to four. I will get four money. Four gold. <laughs> okay. There is not a lot I can do to stop you getting that science, is there? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I will just take this and turn it into gold. So that's going to give me five. Oh, it's a lot of money for you. So I'm going to get the apothecary and that will cost me one bottle, but I will trade. So you don't have a bottle, uh, glass production, sorry. <laughs> I don't have a glass production. Yeah, no. So that will cost me two gold. Mm -hmm. And okay. let me have the last uh, token, right? So yeah. that's Greek mythology again. Greek mythology. So there you go. Oh, so the gate's going to be cheap for you. Let's hope mm -hmm. something nice is in here. Brick production. Uh, let's see. I think that I am going to turn this into some cash. So that is five cash. Five cash. Mm -hmm. Five gold. Okay, so I'm going to build the garrison okay so i have a production of brick okay so, so. that moves one towards me mm -hmm. and that's the that's end it. of the first age so let's put the gate put here the gate down there yep yeah. and we'll set up the pyramid for age two okay and we're set up for the second age here so we have revealed all of the deities and we also have the pyramid set up or the structure set up for H2 and we'll reveal the offering tokens now. So that's All going right. to be minus two, minus three and minus four coins towards the cost of a deity for anybody who gets these tokens. So this is Hades and Hades allows you to build any card from the discard pile for free. Next we have Neptune. So Neptune allows you to destroy any one of these tokens without the effect happening. And it also allows you to activate one of the other ones and use the effect. Now, that also means, say for example, I decide to destroy this one and activate this one. It will be Glide that loses the five points okay. or the five coins, not me. Uh, then we've got Baal and Baal allows you to take one of your opponent's manufacturing cards or one of their production cards mm -hmm. and put it into your own city. Zeus allows you to destroy a card in the structure. Ast Astarte allows you to get seven coins. Now those coins will go on top of her card and they can be used as normal money, but they can't be destroyed by effects in the game, such as these, military. these military tokens mm -hmm. here or anything else that allows you to destroy money or take money from your opponent. But for each coin that's left on her at the end of the game, it's worth a victory point. 
and finally then we have the gate now the gate costs double the cost so it will cost fly six or me 16 wow and wow. uh and that just means you can take the top one of each of the deities and you can choose one and construct it for free straight away all right, mm -hmm. and so I am behind on the military track, so I decide who goes first, and I think I will decide that I go first. For this you one. go first, do <laughs> Yes, you? I will indeed. <laughs> and I'm going to build a school, so I will just build that here, and that's going to cost me a lumber, which I have here, and two papyrus, which I have to pay for. So that's two each have... plus, once that's three each, that's going to cost me six. So that was an expensive one. Hmm. But the kids can go to school, which is important. Yeah. I am going to build a glass for free. Okay. So these two flip over. We've got some military. Oh, good. We've got oh, a good. science. Okay. And oh, geez. The, the book. Well, you already have that symbol. But that's going to cost a stone, a lumber, and a glass. And I don't have a glass, but I'm certainly going to build this. Mm-hmm. And so I need to trade for a glass. Now you produce a glass, don't you? So it's going to cost me three. Yeah. Okay. Back to you. Back to me. I'm taking this and turn this into money. Okay. So that will give me four. And you get the yeah. token then. So that's an offering worth four. And we've got a new brickyard. Um, hmm. I'm going to turn the brickyard into some money and that gives me four so it's six minus two is four all right so I am going to build my sanctuary so that's uh, two stones I can pay two gold for that because of my stone reserve Okay. I have a glass production and I have a papyrus. And I'm going to use this one to build that. And okay. I can go again. Yeah, you got three go again, so that's yeah. very nice. So I am going to take, of course, the dispensary. But I don't have the link. So I have to pay. I have a stone, so that's one. And I have also, I want gold for that. And I also have one, one brick. So I need to trade for one more brick. So do I don't one? produce brick now, so it's only so, going to cost you two. Yeah, so two plus one stone is three. And there you go. That's oh, my dispensary. Here's another reduction token for you. Another reduction token. Oh, and Ooh. another science tag. Okay. Another science tag. This well, is really a Yeah, so science, I'm definitely huh? going to take this, and that is going to cost. A wood and two glass, which I believe cost me six. Mm -hmm. Okay. And back to you. Back to me. I'm going to buy the gate. Okay. So that will cost me three times two is six. So there's two tokens. Okay. Four. F oh, I, I still have minus two here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so four minus two. I, four plus, uh, sorry, six minus six is zero. zero yeah so then i will get one of each of these deities and mm. hopefully they'll give me good one so i am going to choose ra okay and this will go back here mm -hmm. and i'm going to choose your the temple oh, of wow. Artemis. Okay, so I have no mm -hmm. way to build two in a row. So that will go here. Let okay. me put my let me put my um, military there so they can see it. Okay, so back to me, and I'm going to build the rostrum, and that's going to cost one lumber and one stone. Okay, so for me is. Yeah, I am going to build the parade ground. So that will cost me, uh, we don't have any brick. So I have a glass production. I have one brick, so I need to trade for one more brick. So that's two. Okay. And I get one back. So that will move one, two, and you lose two coins. 
Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, in that case, I will I'll turn this shelf quarry into money. Mm -hmm. And that will give me two and two is four. Okay. I think I can build the, yeah. I am going to build the the temple of Artemis. Oh no, the one that, that I mine. gave you, yeah. <laughs> so I have a papyrus, a glass. I pay one gold for um, stone, and I have a lumber. Wow. So okay. I am going to use this one to build that. So I immediately get twelve money. So three, wow. six, nine, twelve, and I can go again. So I get this token. Okay, Paris. Okay. I will go again. So I, I am going to build the walls. Okay. So that's two stone. So here's my three and one chains gold, and that will turn one two. I think. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to spend four for Neptune. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to destroy this for a start. And then I'll take this one and you lose five. Oh, good. Five. So that's six and I get one chains. Okay, let me build the forum. So that will cost me three coins and also one, uh, one brick. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, back to me. Back to you. Okay, I'm going to do some horse breeders. So that is a brick, which is going to cost me one, and a wood, which I have, and that just sends this back that way. Okay. Uh, it's my goal. I am going to build uh, the mausoleum. So I have a papyrus. I have two bottle, uh, bottle, two glass, two glasses. So I have a papyrus. I have two glasses. I have one brick, and I need to pay one more brick. You don't have a brick production, I so I have to trade for two. And I am going to use uh -huh, this papyrus to build that. And I can look at the discard pile. And take one of those? And take one of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will build the brickyard. Okay. Okay. Come back to me. And back to you. Okay, I'll take this for free and get six money for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to discard this for money, so I get three, five, five money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to build the courthouse. So that's going to cost two wood. So I have one wood, so I need to pay one for a second one. And I have to pay three, so it's going to cost me four. Mm -hmm. Six and two change. Okay. I'm going to build the aqueduct, so I get for one. So, so that's three. three. Okay. Because I don't have a link for that. So this goes here. Mm hmm Okay, so that's the end of age two, and next we'll set up age three. Now, age three is set up the same way as the original game, except for instead of the guild cards, we now have these new grand temple cards, and they will have a cost to build, just like any other card, mm -hmm. but if you build one of them, you get five victory points at the end of the game. If you build two, you get 12, and if you build all three, you get 21. So they're worth mm. a lot of points if you can build them. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's set up the new pyramid. Okay, now, uh, this time I decide who goes first. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll turn this into money. I'll go first, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's three and two is five. 
Oh. I am going to buy ball. So that will cost me 6. So 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay, so I'm going to take ball and that will destroy one of your manufacturing or your uh, production. And you take it. And I take it. What is the most what is the most helpful for you? Oh, uh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your stone. Okay. To my manufacturing, no, sorry, my production. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will turn this one into some cash as well, I think. So that's gone, and I get three and two is five. Mm -hmm. and let's see what we get here. More military. More military, yeah. And the Grand Temple. Oh, okay. So I am going to build. I'm going to build the fortifications. So I don't have the link. I have a papyrus. I have one brick. I have, thank you very much for your <laughs> stone. So and I need to pay one. one. So one, two. Oh, that's getting very dangerous out there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to build the gardens. So that's going to cost two brick, which will cost me two. Oh, yeah. And I uh, have the <laughs> wood. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I have one wood, so I need to spend one more for the other wood. Okay, so it is I. I'm going to build my sphinx. Of course you are. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. I'm going to build my the Apian Way. So I have a papyrus. I have two bricks and I have one brick here. Okay. Uh, sorry, one stone here and I have to pay one more stone. Oh, okay. And I am going to use this one to build that. So you lose three coins. Okay. Oh, oh no, yeah. oh I see. And you get three and coins. I get three there. coins. <laughs> and then I can go again. So I'm going to buy the observatory. Okay. Which I do not have a link, but I have two papyrus and one stone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case I will spend six for Zeus. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to destroy this card. Oh, oh. Destroy that, huh? Yep. You just destroy that card. Alright, so I'm going to turn this into money. Okay. So that will be one, two, three, four, five. Five mm -hmm. money. Oh, that's it, that's game over, so. Four, five. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn this into money. Mm -hmm. So that's five. Whoa. And I'm going to buy Hades. Yeah, yeah three, okay, so game over. Six, seven, eight. Eight golds. And I can look at the discarded pile and build it. There you go. I'm pretty certainly going to be building yeah. this one, right? <laughs> Yeah, let me let me look. Maybe I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I will build the last science symbol. Oh, okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, <laughs> well done, good win. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was really aiming for a science win from the beginning, and then in second age, Pan and I both have four science symbols. It got really tense there. However, in age 3, Pat used Zeus to discard one of the science symbol that I needed to complete my 6. Fortunately, Hades is still available, so I took him and used him to retrieve it. Those were cool deity powers in there. Early in the game, I saw there were a few science cards in the structure, so I started collecting them. But Gly also had her eye on them, and she also had three wonders that gave her a second turn, so it was very hard to get ahead of her. 
It's good to aim for economy cards that let you pay one gold for each resource you need. In this way, you are independent no matter how many resources your opponent produces. And also it gives you one gold each time you discard a card for gold. I let Gly get the gate far too cheaply. It's one of the most powerful cards in the game and to get it for six coins is a bargain. In the first stage when you get deity tokens you should put some of the less powerful ones on your opponent's side so that you can get the more powerful cards more cheaply. Building your wonders with another turn symbol should not be built any time you can afford the resources. Build them when the time is right. Nothing feels better when you know you're going to go again and the card you most needed is there in front of you. The Pantheon expansion really adds a lot to Seven Wonders Duel. Being able to play a deity without using a card from the structure really makes the game much less predictable. If you can get some wonders with repeat powers that also allows you to manipulate the structure. Glad did this very well today and got a really good win for it. So that's it for today, you have been watching All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Thank you for staying with us and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again on our next video. Bye! Bye.